Hello, crafty friends. I'm Lin from Studio Kato, and I'm so happy you're joining me again today for a very exciting video. I am so happy to be joining WOW as a guest designer for their new release, and this is a really good one. There are some amazing powders in this release, but also some stencils that I'm sadly not showing off today. But I had such a fun idea for this card with one of their amazing embossing powders, and I just couldn't wait to show you this. So I'm making a very summary card. I am making a circle card and I'm just doing some ink blending on there. I'm using Pinkfresh Studio inks. Any dye ink will do. Um, this is just what I prefer. Uh, these are blend really smoothly, although I am not trying at all and my brushes were still wet. So <laughs> the blending isn't as good as it was supposed to be, but I'm covering most of it up. All I'm doing is putting some color down and then I am covering that with WOW embossing ink. And I'm doing this because the powders I am going to be using are transparent or at least partly transparent and I did not want too much white to show through. So I'm starting off with the beach and I blended that with some brown inks. And now I am using the Golden Vintage Lace by WOW. This is a glitter embossing powder and I thought it looked like sparkling sand. So I just covered that, my beach with that. And to not have such a harsh edge, I am sprinkling on some powder just with my fingers. Now I don't recommend this if you want to keep the powder anti-static because WOW treats its powders to remain anti-static. Um, because this is not what you do with anti-static powders. <laughs> you don't just rub your hands all over them. Um, but I thought it was worth it. <laughs> Now this is the powder I was so excited about. You can see my swatch there. This is the Popping Blue by uh, WOW Embossing Powders. And it's a marbling powder. So there is some translucent blue in there, but there's also some gold and white. And when you heat, trans when you heat marbling powders like this, especially when one part of it is translucent, and you heat it a little bit too much, you overheat it a little bit, it will melt together and create these swirling effects. And with blue and white, that just happens to look like the rolling waves of an ocean. I'm just going to pretend the gold is some rocks in there or something. Um, I just think this looks like an ocean. I can't unsee it. I really like it. This Poppin' Blue embossing powder is actually part of a WOW trio. WOW does, does these uh, trios of embossing powders that just all go together. And this trio also comes with Poppin' Pink and Poppin' Yellow. And they are very festive, very bright, perfect for birthday cards. I can't wait to make some balloons with those, with all three of those. I think that would be really fun. But today I just craved the ocean. <laughs> And to make it look a little bit more like some waves are crashing on that beach, I am dabbing on some more of that WOW Ultra Slow Drying Embossing Ink. And I'm just sprinkling on some opaque, bright white, super fine embossing powder. Now, I have this huge jar of super fine embossing powder, um, but I wouldn't use super fine for this. You could probably use regular or even ultra high. That would be a really fun effect. This is what I have and I made it work by doing it two times. So I added more of that ink. I added more of the powder and I am brushing it off a little bit roughly. So there's no harsh lines or perfect lines anywhere here. And that's my beach panel all finished. Now to create that circular card base, you know how I like to do it. I just die cut two large white circles and in one of them, this will be my back panel of the card, I put a score line. I use my bone folder for that and my paper trimmer, but you can use your scoreboard. And I add glue to anything that is above the score line to adhere it to my second circle. And that will be the front of my card. So you create this little hinge. I always pop them open so I know how to adhere my front panel to that. You can see I use a smaller circle for my beach. And I die cut an even smaller circle 
from some orange <laughs> foam uh, just to prop it up and give it some nice even sturdy dimension. I added a bunch of glue to that and then I can add that to the front of my card. I always keep it down for a little bit because the foam doesn't really want to adhere with this glue. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think it's really fussy foam to be honest. I don't use it a lot. Then I have these um, sentiment dies by A Pocket Full of Happiness. This is a Hello die and it's a gorgeous font. It also cuts out the inside of those letters and that's also really fun to use. But today I am using four layers of black cardstock and I used the outside of the letters and I'm just adhering them all together. You can see I added uh, adhesive to three layers at once and then adhere them all together. Uh, that just saves me a little bit of time and I did that for a bunch more letters as well. You can see I have hello there. I am lining that up on my cutting mat just on the grid there so I can add some purple tape to it and then I know that it's all aligned well and I do the same for my second word of the sentiment which is summer also from a die by a pocket full of happiness. I align all the letters on my grid and then I can just add some purple tape over that to keep it all in place and that will make it really easy to adhere it on my card later on. I always find it really difficult to adhere um, separate letters in a nice straight line, but this hack really helps a lot with that. So I can just pick up all the letters at once. Now they're all in place on that purple tape. And I just add some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to that. I use this one because it's quite a bit stronger than the Barely Art Precision Craft glue. And I am gluing it down onto a slick surface because that background is all melted embossing powder. So it's basically plastic at this point and adhering anything to plastic is a little bit more difficult. But that's where the purple tape comes in handy as well. I let this dry with the purple tape in place. So the purple tape keeps all the letters down and in place while they dry on my card on that slick surface. And then I can carefully pull up that purple tape and all my letters are magically adhered nice and straight. Now I realized I forgot a step. I had planned on doing this with embossing powder and I think that would have given me an even um, more awesome look <laughs> because the embossing powder would have melted over the edges and it would have really made this look like a metal die cut. Um, but I forgot to do it before I adhere the, the letters on top of this card. So I'm just adding some Nouveau drops in black and that will give me a glossy black look and it also creates a domed effect. Now again, I would have done this with embossing powder, that way the embossing powder melts over the edges and it looks a lot more organic and natural. For my matching envelope and keeping things really simple. I had this ocean paper lying around, so I just folded a fitting envelope for that with my VR Memory Keepers 123 punch board. And now I'm adhering this together with the Barely Art Precision Craft glue. Uh, this is a really easy way to make a matching envelope and it fits my card perfectly. Obviously, I'm way too early with the summer cards, but it's just such a fun powder and I had to make an ocean with it. I just couldn't stop myself. <laughs> now down in the description below I will have some giveaway information and some uh, more information about the new release where you can check out all the gorgeous new products. I will definitely have more videos coming up with them in the future because I love these powders and I also really like the stencils of this release. There's even a stamp that I can't wait to use. I hope you like the card. I hope you like the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read them. You can also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And again, make sure to read all the instructions to participate in the giveaway. There's lots of fun things to win and I hope you join and take a chance. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.